Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D and I am here with a reading which this reading is a special request from a masculine and this masculine wanted to find out what's going on with his divine feminine who is in a third party relationship. So let's find out what's going on so this message is going to be for you masculines out there who want to find out what's going on with your feminine why they aren't leaving their third party situation and what's going to be the outcome okay all right let's begin guys our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, so I'll be connecting with the feminine energy today. Still gonna do one for the masculine too. Okay, tell me what's going on in this connection. Where the divine feminine is in a third party situation please what's happening the seven of pentacles the three of pentacles <laughs> why does this look like a money situation to me and remember guys it's only for some it's only for some What else can you tell me that's happening here, please? Oh, I see. <laughs> Three cards. I see. These divine feminines in these third party situations. It's like they're screaming for this happiness. This is a sun card. They really, really, with this seven of pentacles, really want to get away from the situation that they're in. Maybe some of them are in that situation because they were stable. That situation made them stable. They actually know that they're, that they're in a third party situation. But there's one that made them more stable and that's the reason why they are still in that connection. They tried to build something with this other person that they are with. They tried to build something with them. They were trying to build A life with this person because they were looking for stability in their own life and now they are looking at things from a different perspective uh, uh, uh. like it's like they're waking up and, and realizing that what they were looking for It doesn't make them happy. It does not make them happy. Because they know that there's someone else that's always in the back of their mind that they want to be with. And then that's why we got the Ten of Swords. So this situation is going to go down. This situation is going to go down. No more working together. No more pushing for this connection to last. It's going to end. The Divine Feminine is conflicted inside. Because their passion lies somewhere else.
they really want to move on. Some of them are tired of the conflict, tired of being questioned, tired of just defending themselves. Again, someone whom they thought that they loved, someone they thought that loved them. When deep inside, they just want to be happy. They just want to be happy. They're holding their head high, waiting for the time when they, whatever situation it is, can end so they can move on. When they can celebrate and reconnect with their person, this other person, their masculine. Because they're not happy in the situation that they're in. It's like they, they're just in this situation because they were there before and they feel stable. Things were going okay, the situation, they were working together with the other person, but they just weren't fulfilled. They were being left behind, they were being, they were just not equal to that other person. But it's gonna end. It's gonna come to an end. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is talking about someone that's knowing that this is hard work, who knows that this is gonna be hard. They're even wondering if I should move if I should stay, if I should go. But they're having the passion and the drive to move forward, no matter what it takes to go over those obstacles. That's on the top, the hanged man, really looking, trying to make that sacrifice to move forward. What else can you tell me about the Seven of Pentacles, please? For these feminines in a third party situation. <laughs> there it is, the lovers. They thought they were happy. And they could work together in this situation, but there is that person who is still on their mind. The one that they cannot get off their mind. This just shows that yes, they are in a third party coming um, circumstance. Let's put it that way. But there's conflict in a conflict about the truth. Two men fighting, right? Two men fighting. Two, what they call them, elks fighting. Tell me about the three of pentacles, please. Oh, I can't get it up. <laughs> well, that's not my job. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> the two of wands, they really wanted to work together. It's the same story being told. It's the same story being told. The same thing being told. They wanted to work together in this situation. But 
but it's not happening. They're gonna leave. They're gonna leave this situation behind. The two of wands, that's, that's also about leaving home. But they're gonna leave. They're making that decision to leave this connection. Someone's gonna be out in the cold. Someone's gonna be unhappy because the Divine Feminine is gonna be making that change, that decision to move forward. They are taking that leap of faith. It's like these Divine Feminines, their masculines are already awakened because they already know that they are twin flames. They already know that they're, they've already met their twin flames. And they have, now their divine masculine is ready, waiting, just being happy. And now these divine feminines have to make that decision, have to make that choice to leave this connection that they're in so they can have absolute happiness. And they do because here's the Ten of Swords, which shows that they ended things. Tell me more about this Ten of Swords, please. What is this Ten of Swords for the feminines in a third party situation? Being defensive. Again, more defense, internal conflict, not wanting to release their emotions. There was no emotion here. Nothing, just stability. Just stability, because trust me, when you meet your twin, there is nothing else that you can feel for anyone but for your twin. So there was no emotional security here, nothing, nothing emotional. So they were guarding their emotions. The emotion, it, it's dead, it, it's dead from the, dead from that connection. Their emotion is dead. They're trying to maintain control of the situation. Maintaining emotional control. So they can make the right decision because they know that all the emotion is gone, it's dead from that connection. Tell me about this five of wands, please. The four of pentacles. They were holding on, not wanting to let go before. But they have made that decision and now they're holding on to their future. They're holding on to their future. There was too much competition, so they had to release. They know they had to release one. They can't hold on to both. They can't hold on to both. They know they have to release one of these men. Would they prefer to be secure or prefer to be happy? And you're coming from the five to the four. That's progression. That's progression. They want that offer. They want to be happy. Knight of Cups. They want to be happy and they're transforming. Tell me about this sun card, please, for these feminines. There you go. Making it happen. Making it happen. They have what it takes to get out of this connection and they are going to make it happen. Love is more important than financial security, than financial stability, than just being a connection where there is no emotions, where they're not letting in any emotion. So they're gonna make this happen. They want their happiness and that's two major arcanas. Three. Big changes. And here she is, the Divine Feminine, just waiting, waiting for the perfect time, making that wish, waiting for the perfect time to reveal 
the truth and move on to the person that they are loyal to or that was loyal to them in the past look as I took up the card the ace of swords on the bottom <laughs> the ace of cups see that brand new beginning wanting that offer wanting stability wanting balance wanting happiness They know that they are not emotionally fulfilled. These divine feminines are going to make that decision to move forward to their happiness, that brand new beginning. Here they are rushing back to the masculine. Accepting that offer the masculine offered them before. What else can you tell me please? See, making that judgment call changing, transforming, reminiscing about what, what's going on in their life and what truly made them happy. Another major arcana. They're reflecting on what happened in the past. They were not satisfied and they realized that because there was no emotion. Or the emotion was false. False love. False saying, I love you. Now, they're waiting for the fruits of their labor. Heading towards the fruits of their labor. Because they have been waiting on these masculines for a while. And it seemed like nothing was going to happen, which is why they stayed in, the, in that connection. So... These divine feminines, the seeds that they planted in the past, it's time to reap. It's time to reap. They're going to be getting their wish fulfillment. They're going to be getting their wish fulfillment. Give me one more card, please. Again, endings. Ending. The death of anything that no longer serves them. That situation is... Done. Finito. We gotta skip. We gotta cut. We gotta go. Heading towards their King of Cups. What else can you tell me, please, about these divine feminines in these third party situations, please? absence and some money so they are definitely trying to get away from this situation they're going to be moving away from this situation and the sum of money that's the reason why, again, that they were in this connection. Mostly because they wanted stability and financial security. They are they're moving away from this person. They're moving away from this person. That situation is done. That situation is ended. You got the death card and the ten of swords. That situation is done. They're going to make up their mind to end that situation once and for all. They're going to be wise in getting out too because they, these families don't want to lose what little they had gained in that in that connection with that sum of money they don't want to lose what they had gained tenderness 
again wanting happiness wanting success there they go seeing that important revelation seeing that where they are is not right for them they're coming into realization again with that judgment card coming into realization and making that decision to move forward give me one more card please trip to the country the trip to the country this is like walking away this is walking away you're taking a break they know they have this decision to make They know that it's going to be hard to make this decision, even to tell the person that they're with that they don't want to be with them anymore. But they are working on removing themselves from this situation because it, it, it has been too long. They have been away from their masculine too long. They have been in this situation too long that they know that does not serve them that they are not happy and that they cannot express their emotions. And they're going to be working on removing themselves. And on the bottom of the deck, we have a loss of money. So as I said before, that these feminines are going to try to be careful not to lose what they have already gained in this situation so they're probably going to have to be clever about getting away from this situation but they're still going to move they are still going to move Let me get some guidance for you guys here. Give me some guidance for these. Let's see, what's that? Something fell. Oh my gosh, I can't reach. Okay. Okay. Give me some advice, please, for these masculines. Moon cycles. Archangel Haniel. Notice how the moon affects your energy and manifestation and capitalize upon these cycles. So whenever this moon comes around, I got this card already. New moon, full moon, whatever moon is going to come. Notice how it affects your manifestations. Try and manifest whatever it is that you want when these moons come around. Notice if you get what you wish for, if you don't, and if you do get what you wish for, next time there's another moon that, that's coming, you do that again and you get what you want, right? Clairvoyance, Archangel Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. So that's for the feminine. And overcoming difficulties, Archangel Jeremy. The worst is now behind you and you're surmounting any previous challenges. So as, as I was saying, the Divine Feminine, they're going to do whatever they can to get out of that situation. And they're being helped. They're being awakened so they can clearly see heaven and love. Let's get you some Romance Angels. Give me some Romance Angels, please, for these masculine and feminine. See, deception, they are deceiving themselves. This calls for balance, just on 444. Four, four. Someone is wearing a false self-mask in this relationship. So the Divine Feminine, they have been deceiving themselves also. Those are the ones that are in the third party, they are deceiving themselves. They know they don't love that person, they know they want to move, they know they want to get away. But they are just hiding their true feelings. 
healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. I don't know, maybe this has this connection has something to do with a parent. You don't want to leave because maybe you'll disappoint your parents. Whatever it is, you'll know. Honeymoon, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So look out for some happiness coming in. And express your love, Divine Feminine. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Now let me get you some advice from the big man of Sarah. Let's see what he wants to tell these feminines who are in third party situations. Let's see. What you put out is what you get back. put it out there to the universe you want to get out of the situation to get to your masculine that's what you're gonna get your love life is about to improve see your love life is about to improve a big change is gonna come once you make that decision divine feminine start thinking more positively start thinking more positively appreciate the present appreciate the present Well, Divine Masculines, this has been your reading. Now you have your info about your Divine Feminine who is in a third-party situation. They're going to ultimately make that decision to get out. Don't ask me when. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, guys. This has been your reading. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos. Take care of yourselves. Love you guys. Bye.